uh, some just need an implant exchange for whatever reason. Sometimes the implants have uh, ruptured, not terribly uncommon. Um, in the old ones, we're talking about 20, 30 year old implants. Um, implants have gotten better over the course of decades. These new generations, these implants are so, so strong and so well engineered. Like there's really, the only way to really rupture this is the most common cause is the, the implant is actually damaged during the surgery itself. That's the most common cause, it's actually surgeon caused. Um, other than that, you know, they're super strong. Look up videos on how strong these implants are. They're just phenomenal. So these gener these implants, if you just leave them alone, they can last you the rest of your life. That's, that's the honest truth. Um, so very, very safe. The, um, when patients come to me and tell me they want a implant exchange um, because, you know, I'm told that I was supposed to change them out every 10 years, that's a myth. That is not true. Um, the recommendation by the FDA was to change them out every 10 years, but um, with the current uh, you know, generations, that is not technically true anymore. Um, if you have older implants over 20 years, you might want to consider just having them evaluated um, for, for problems uh, such as rupture. And if you have a silicone implant, the, the diagnostic studies are called an MRI, and you can see everything, really. Um, the newer ultrasounds now um, are able to diagnose ruptures now in, in silicone implants. And um, we actually have that ultrasound machine. I'm really excited to start playing with it. And uh, I'm gonna start kind of screening my patients for ruptures if I feel like there may be a problem. Um, so that's exciting. This uh, new technology is continuing to get better. It's ultrasound technology. Um, other than that, if you have implants that are, I don't know, 10 years old, if you're not having problems, leave them alone. Just, that's it, just leave them alone. They're fine. If you're happy with them, you're happy with the look, that's it. Um, you know, implant revision, revision surgery for breast implants really can be a spectrum. It can be a simple, I just want to be a little bit bigger, a little bit fuller. I want the newer style implant, super, super, uh, you know, atraumatic. It's basically just replacing the implant in space. You have the space already and you're done. You have a quick recovery. If there's um, scar issues where the scar around the implant needs to be released or partially removed, that's a little bit more of a, in a reconstructive surgery. Sometimes there's fold issues, those need to be reconstructed. Um, sometimes the breast tissue has aged and the skin has aged and there's a little bit of sagging that needs to be readjusted with a breast lift or maybe uh, some kind of other adjustment, but it's really a spectrum. Um, so that's it, kind of a nutshell. It's a big, big topic. If you have any questions, please give me a call, send me a DM. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put on a post on uh, just, you know, common questions about breast implants and exchanges and revision surgery. So hope you learned something a little bit. Thanks for following, thanks.